If you want a simple way to embed a video on your website without related videos, ads, or any other noise, Streamable might be a great fit for your business. Now, I've done a ton of other videos comparing video hosting solutions for businesses, and what stands out with Streamable is how easy it is to use and how fast it is. It's got all the features you need in a video hosting solution, plus a bunch of other cool features. So in this video, we're gonna go over the basics of Streamable, how to use it, and walk through the use cases for businesses. Now in full transparency, I am getting paid to review this for Streamable, but they have no say in what I post. Now, I think it's a great product and I'm probably gonna use it for my business, but there's a few features that I'd like them to add and I'll share those at the end. What you're seeing right now is the landing page for when you first visit streamable.com. The actual product itself looks a little bit different, but basically this is a marketing page. They've got a variety of plans depending on what you need. They have a free version. The free version has a limit of 250 megabytes. And then starting with the basics, you have no limits on size or length, and you're only limited by total storage. Now, if you've ever looked at Vimeo or Wistia, you're usually limited on storage per week or the amount of videos. So just having a flat storage is nice and you don't have to worry about how many videos you're actually uploading. The only real difference in plans is you get more storage each time you go up and plan. And then the pro and above plans allow you to limit your embeds to specific domains. So what you're seeing on the screen is the main UI of Streamable. You can see all the videos that I've uploaded. I've got about 20 in here. To upload a video, all you do is you go to the top, click upload a video, and then select your video. Instantly, the video starts uploading. You can see the speed that it's uploading. While it's uploading, you can start naming it. So this is a video about knee replacement. Now Streamable has this really cool uh, labeling system where you can assign tags for videos and one video could have multiple tags. I've got labels set up on this side for some of my clients. So I can click on this video and while it's uploading, label it and that helps me just organize my videos and find them quicker and then once the video is done uploading and processing we can add a thumbnail to add a thumbnail you click on the more button and then you can upload a thumbnail or select from the video itself so we'll just drag over here to the beginning where we have the title of the video so this is that video that we just uploaded and say you just wanted to share this with someone you could just copy this link and then they're gonna get this nice, simple page where they can view the video and share it with someone if they want. So one of the most important things for a business is the ability to embed a video on your website with a simple player. If you look at YouTube, you'll probably get related videos or ads that might pop up, and there's a lot of clutter on the player. Streamable has a very simple player that you can customize and easily embed on your website. So to embed it, go to your video that you want to embed. In the bottom left hand corner, there's going to be an embed button. Once you click on it, you can then copy a code depending on what settings you want here. So I'll copy that. And then let's go over to my website, which I use Webflow. So all we do is we paste this into an HTML code editor. We'll save it. And then we have this, we have the video right here, which can be played on my website. But there's also another way to embed a video. Depending on your website builder, you may be able to just copy this link and then go to one of the widgets in your website and paste this in. So we'll paste this in. You can see here that it plays. Patients come in. This player compared to YouTube is just much cleaner and simpler and it looks better on your website. Doesn't distract your viewer by having related videos or ads like YouTube. One thing you also can do with an embedded video is customize how the play button looks, specifically the color. To do that, go into your account settings, go to player appearance, and then you can pick a custom color. A lot of times people will pick a brand and then your videos will all use this color. Um, I like white. It just seems to work for the most amount of videos, but if you wanna use a green or blue, whatever your branding is, you can adjust it to this. And we'll save this just to show you what it looks like here. Let's just do a, we'll do a green here, a light green. So after we've, made, after we've saved it, you can see that now the button is green and this will update anywhere you use it. You also can add a video watermark, like a logo to your videos, and you can even link that logo to your website. So next let's talk about privacy. Privacy can be important to you depending on the type of content you're making and Streamable makes it really easy to limit your video 
to certain platforms or people who might want to watch it. To change the privacy of a video, you can go into the more tab, click on privacy, and then you have basically you have three options and then some additional settings. Public is anybody can view it with the link that I showed you before. Hide on streamable means you can embed it on your website, but it's not visible on that public link. And then private, of course, hides it to only you when you're logged in on your account. There also is some additional settings like being able to specify a domain, adding a password and making someone type it in before they watch it. And then you also can allow downloading of your video and sharing inside the actual streamable link. And this is what it looks like once I do that. So this is that video that we just changed the setting and in the bottom right, you can now see a download button. So this could be helpful if you're sending out it to a client or person and then they wanna download it themselves. You can also set some account wide privacy settings. If we go into the My Account, Privacy and Security, and you can set defaults for any of your videos and say you ever wanna change this in the future, it allows you to reset it, which is nice. All right, so next up, let's talk about clipping videos and downloading videos. This is actually probably the most popular use of streamable currently is downloading clips from the internet, say, for example, YouTube video, shortening it and then sharing it. Find that link on YouTube, go ahead and paste it up at the top here. So you're able to download that entire video, but if you say you just wanna share a certain part of it, all you need to do is drag the sliders to the part of the video that you wanna clip. So let's just say it's that, that we'll click on create video. And so right here, we can see that this video was downloaded. And if we go and watch it here, it's just the section that we clipped. So this is really useful for if you're a content creator, trying to gather different clips, pull them together and repurpose them. Or even if you just need to download videos that you already have. Now there's a few other features in here that might be valuable to you. Um, one would be the merge tool. Say you wanna combine two or three videos and have them play back to back. Another feature is the crop tool. This is really great if you just need to get a quick social clip out and you don't have time to edit it. And then finally, you can share multiple videos at once. Just select the videos that you want, click on the share button, and then you have a single page with all those videos. Let's talk about use cases. Now there's kind of two sides to this. There's the consumer side and the business side. On the consumer side, it's a really, really awesome tool for sharing gaming clips or sporting events because you can take a link and post it into there and then download it and clip it. It makes it really easy to share highlights. And then on the business side, this is a really great, really affordable video hosting platform, but also being able to ability to store videos and back them up. Again, the biggest, features that I look for in a video hosting solution is customization of the player, being able to replace videos and update them without breaking links. So if you have a knowledge base or landing pages, instead of having to go ask the programmer to update that, update that on your website, you can just go to Streamable, replace the video, and it's gonna automatically update. So overall, I think Streamable is a great video hosting solution, especially for the price, but there's a few features that I'd like to see them add. One would be more detailed analytics. Right now, the analytics are quite simple. I'd like to see where my views are coming for, maybe how long videos are being watched by someone. And then also the ability to import and upload closed captionings. Closed captioning has been really important for people, especially viewing on their phones, and all the other video hosting solutions currently have that. Now I have talked to them and asked them about the closed captioning and analytics, and those are coming out very soon, so they might even be out by the time you watch this video. Now another thing I'd like to see them add is the crop tool is really cool and interesting, but I like the ability to snap to a certain aspect ratio. When you go in and crop a video, you kind of have to manually do it and maybe just snapping to either nine by 16 for social or one by one uh, for a square video for social would be cool. So I hope you learned a lot about Streamable in this video. Check out the link in the description and they've got a free trial if you'd like to try it out. If you have any questions about this or video marketing in general, let me know. My name is Rob Devroy. I'm the creative director here at Capture Video Marketing. Thanks for watching.